Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick. Southeast Radio. Well, Ashling O'Neill was recently elected as the president of Network Ireland, and she joins me now to reveal how they are supporting women in business. Ashling, start by providing us with an insight into Network Ireland and what it does. So Network Ireland was established in 1983, so almost 40 years in this game. And basically what we really are focused on as an organisation is supporting women to achieve their most satisfying careers. So in whatever domain that may be. So we would have women who own their own businesses. So we've entrepreneurs and enterprise owners, as well as employees in organizations. We, we would be dealing with um, all sectors, arts, charity, you name it. We would have members represented from those sectors. So really within the um, within the, the organization, we have 14 branches across the country and they all run monthly events and different connection um, opportunities for members. I believe that Network Ireland also operates its Mentoring for Success programme. Provide us with an insight into that. So as part of our Mentoring for Success programme, we have an expert panel um, of our members who offer their services free of charge to other members who wish to develop in specific areas. So for instance, if you are a small company or a new company, you might look at getting some support in your marketing or finances. If you are um, a career um, employee, you might look at how you could use a career coach to advance your career or just general skills around public speaking, for instance. You might work with one of our other coaches in that domain. So really, there is a huge array of opportunities for development through that programme. Now, I don't know if you're watching the undercover billionaire on Discovery at the moment, but one of the contestants on that Grant Cardone says that contacts turn into contracts. Is that true of Network Ireland? I think that's a really interesting one, Carl, right? Um, And I'll I'll tell you why, because in, in my experience, and certainly within Network Ireland, we would definitely focus on relationships Um, and how relationships will lead to those kind of collaborative contracts. I think that's something that's really important in the networking that we do um, is that it's not just a kind of a a simple exchange of business cards. You know, our members tend to get to know each other quite well. And in that relationship development piece is where we see the most, um, I suppose, valuable contracts emerging. And now I know that there's currently no Network Ireland branch in Wexford. I'm wondering, is it on the cards and what would be involved in establishing a branch in County Wexford? Certainly. And and I know that, that there has been interest expressed from a couple of women in business in Wexford surrounding this. But something to really remember, Carl, with our organisation is that uh, we're a voluntary organisation. So when we're looking at setting up new branches in different counties, what we need is a group of 10 women who are committed to being on the committee and supporting the development of the branch. So through Network Ireland, we have lots of um, best practices. We have lots of supports. We have obviously the the established brand and all of that experience that we've gained over the last 40 years in running these networks to support new branches opening up. But we definitely need people on the ground who are committed to the area. And that's where we see the the huge benefit um, in, in a new branch is when we've got people that really want to see the development of women in business in Wexford, for example. So if any of the listeners to the show would like to get in touch with us, they can send an email to me with president at networkireland.ie and we can we can have a chat and advance the process. And of course, Ashling, you're the newly elected president. So why did you get involved in Network Ireland? So my PhD focused on the experience of entrepreneurs in using learning networks to develop their enterprises in regional economies. And so we set up six learning networks of entrepreneurs across Southeast Ireland and West Wales. And I was really just blown away by watching the female networks in particular developing, right? They had a really specific way of working and created huge value for for each other in the process. So in 2016, when I heard that Network Ireland were interested in opening a branch in Waterford, I had just finished my PhD and it was actually one of the entrepreneurs who was in my SLNIW, so it was Sustainable Learning Networks Ireland Wales was the project. And it was one of the participants on that that let me know that Network Ireland wanted to open in Waterford and said to me, you have to be involved here. So in 2017, I became president of Network Waterford and led that branch 
um, for two years, so 17 and 18, but loved loved the organisation, loved the national um, strategic piece. And so uh, in 2019, I put myself forward um, for the role of president. So because of the voluntary nature of the organisation, it takes three years. So you do a year as vice president designate, then vice president and and. Now here I am as president of Network Ireland. Well, congratulations on that. Now, what's your vision for your presidency? So for me, what I'm looking at this year is the power of Network Ireland. And I know you believe in the power of network uh, in a huge way, Carl. And so really what that kind of comes out as, there's a number of elements. So there's the personal power or the power within our members and the way that the environment supports and motivates and encourages women to achieve their most satisfying careers. But you can also break that down, you know, in that contact making contracts piece, the opportunity, the power of network to increase sales in your company, the power of network to develop your business, the power of network to connect you into the right people who are going to see you scale and grow. And so that's the real focus for me and how we can, you know, take take the disadvantage of the time that we live in, that we're all at home um, and turn that into an advantage. So what we're really capitalising on for this year is the cohesive and collaborative nature of network. So you'll see if you look at any of our social pages or at our website that each month we now we now um, send out a kind of a, an infographic that has all of the branch meetings because obviously from Wexford, from Waterford, you can attend an event in Galway from the same seat that you can attend an event in Kilkenny. And as a member of Network Ireland, you can attend any event of any branch across the country. So we're really taking advantage of that this year and really showing people the national um, scope of the network. And of course, Ashling, you have a lot of experience in the world of innovation through your own role as manager of Arc Labs in Waterford. For any business owner listening to this morning's show that wants to take innovation seriously, what's the starting point for them? So certainly from my perspective, Carl, you know, tapping into the support structures that are there is so, so important. So we we live in a country that actually supports entrepreneurship and innovation in a really meaningful way. So Enterprise Ireland would support a number of different um, innovation programmes. So for for me, in my work, I would work um, predominantly with digital technology businesses. So anyone who has an interest in that area, so whether it's an established business or maybe someone just starting out, they can get in touch with me in Arc Labs. So Arc Labs at wit.ie and I'll be able to tap them into the innovation infrastructure of the Institute through our Walton Institute Technology Gateway that they may be able to pursue projects in research, development, innovation with the support of our world-class researchers and academics who then can use the physical infrastructure of the Institute to support that activity. So it's a really, really beneficial process and really practical process, you know, to, for, for companies to get those government supports to let them explore innovation with minimised risk. Now, on April 16th, the applications for Network Ireland's Women in Business Awards will close. What categories are open for applications and what characteristics or achievements will the judging panel be looking for? So there are eight categories in total and they they span emerging new business for new young businesses starting out, established businesses. We have a couple of different employee categories. So like for people that are early in their career versus people that are more established in their careers. We have a focus on STEM. We have a focus on arts. We also have a very special category um, that we introduced last year called the power within category. So again, this can really look at the the, the power within that our members tapped into to support their communities or their businesses or their organisations over what has been a very challenging year. So the key things that we're looking at in the awards is the, the role of these, these women um, in developing their enterprises. So the flexibility that they've shown, the, the resilience is going to be um, demonstrated in spades this year, as you can imagine. Um, and, and just the different, I suppose, creative and innovative approaches that they have taken to develop themselves and their businesses. And if any women in business would like to enter Network Ireland's Women in Business Awards that close on the 16th of April, what do they need to do and what does the application process then look like once the application is submitted? Well, first of all, we need them to be members of Network Ireland. So that's that's the first condition. 
Um, and then at that point, literally, it's it's a, an application process that's live on our website, networkireland.ie, and you'll see the tab for Awards 2021. And we have a very straightforward form there that actually the process even of going through those questions can give you the time to reflect and really appreciate the, the work that you've done. Most branches would hold... Um, local interviews, but they can get the judges to to um, assess the applications um, on a paper basis. And then we'll have the local award winners and then the winners from each of the branches then go forward to the national awards where they will go through an interview process at the start of September with our, our esteemed judges. Um, and then like that, we will be announcing the overall winners at our conference on October 8th in the Wit Arena in Waterford. Well, if you've just tuned in, that was Ashling O'Neill, the president of Network Ireland. And I hope that we will see a branch of Network Ireland in Wexford in the not too distant future. Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick. Southeast.